In many African societies, it is believed that for a man to command respect in a relationship, in a home, in a marriage, he must be able to provide for himself and to provide for a significant other or others, as the case may be. Um, it means that the man is expected not to be broke. He's expected to be fully loaded, as we say these days. As a matter of fact, in 1986, an American pop or R&B singer, Gwen Guthrie, um, had a song titled Ain't Nothing Going On But The Rent. And then she followed up by saying, you got to have a J-O-V if you want to be with me. My voice is better when I'm in the bathroom. Anyways, so what she said was that you have to have a job if you want to be with her. You don't, as you must not be broke if you want to be with her, meaning that the man has to provide. So the question we're asking on today's episode of Not A Guy Thing is, should broke guys or broke men be dating? Should broke men have any business with dating? I have some amazing guests in the studio, and when we come back from this break, we'll get to hear whether broke men should be dating or not. My name is Bernard Akede. This is Not A Guy Thing. <laughs> Welcome back to another guy thing. If you're just joining us, you haven't missed anything. My name is Bernard Akede. We're asking the question Should broke men be dating? Now you can join the conversation online. Uh, use the hashtag not a guy thing. We are at News Central TV. Not a guy thing is the hashtag you should use. Now, joining us on today's conversation, Benga Borowa, broadcaster of international repute. Benga has been here more times than the show has even aired. Benga, it's good to have you Thank all the you time. Thank you very much. And once again, uh, you managed to drag me out of my very busy schedule. Because <laughs> when you put it like that, like I've been here, people might think that, you know, yeah, it's not really busy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I'm a high roller. <laughs> we know. <laughs> Next is Benga is a motor, motor is a producer, uh, TV producer, TV show producer uh, at News Center. Central the motor, it's good to have you here. Good to have it's mm -hmm. good to be here. To, I'm so excited to talk about this topic, yeah. And it's always good to have a woman in the studio. We're thinking about making that a permanent, but maybe, maybe not. But it's good to have you. And then, of course, we have Abdul Latif. Uh, Abdul Latif Ahmed is a researcher, so he's going to be giving us all the statistics about broke guys and broke men today. Abdul Latif, it's good to have you. Thank you for having me. Yeah, meanwhile, Abdul Latif is the only married man on set here. Yeah, uh, Benga is quarter to marry. And we're I'm for a me. You are divorcee. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we're going to get there. All right, guys. Um, very, very quickly now. Should broke men be this? The reason why I have you here is because several times we've talked about about brokenness, and you say one thing you fear in this life is being broke. Yes, because I've been there, but I thank the Lord for lifting me up. <laughs> okay. It's a bad place to be mm -hmm. in. But uh, jokes apart, uh, there's no romance without finance. It oils it. It makes it nicer. Mm. I mean, you could go to the movies. You could do. Uh, really nice things, but I'm not saying uh, people that don't have a certain level of income shouldn't date. And uh, let's not send the wrong message out there to young, impressionable minds. Mm. You have to have money before you date. There's a beauty in growing and developing together with your partner, but there has to be a vision. The person needs a job mm. and focus, not just being broken. And you're not doing anything, and you're chasing. We you are chasing went up and down. There has to be a vision 2020. Amata, this is the ultimate question. What do you consider being broke? I think that's where we should start from. How much? When somebody says he's broke or she's broke, what do you consider as a person being broke? He doesn't have, he has 000, 000, 000 in his account. He doesn't have nothing. So if he, he has, has 5,000 in his account, he's he, not broke? If he has 5,000, he's still broke because, I mean, with the kind of economy we have, what can 5,000 are? I can do? take you to tax I'm telling you, just for a day. <laughs> Mega just said he can, Mega said he can spoil I you. I don't eat tantalizers, sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what do you eat, Yusuf? <laughs> but but, but, but yeah. I mean, because of how um, dating is and because mm. of romance, it is very important. And then because of themselves as individuals, it's very important that they should, both, we, uh, both the female and the male, mm. They must have some amount of money. They must be financially yeah. capable, capable yeah. you know, to be in a relationship because the relationship comes with a lot of responsibilities. Mm. And at least it also, if it's a serious relationship, it prepares them for what is to come, like their future. So if the guy doesn't have money, I don't... I'm sorry, I don't know how you I don't, can you don't, how, you don't know how you can... Oh, you're even about respect. So <laughs> you're hiding your face. <laughs> I'm like, if being broke as a man, does that determine, like, you know, does that drive the relationship, a man having money? Um, or should he not even have any business going into a relationship, dating at all, when he's broke? Okay, what I think strongly is that um, to date, you know, is voluntary. Mm. However, you have to invest your time, you know, attention, and all that. And money. So when you love money, money, you yeah, just be so, good. Money. so I would think that someone who does not have money or someone who is broke 
to concentrate on trying to yeah to make money, to make money uh, than, and than, not dating. Than, uh, than dating. Would you, well, well, because, well, because, well, because, because, my, my because it is relative. You, because yeah. it is relative. Mm -hmm. It is relative. Like if you say someone is broke. Most undergrads are, are not working. Mm. Should they date, That's for example? They get themselves in trouble. You know, mm -hmm. should, should they be dating, work. for example? Because mm -hmm. they're not, they're not working. So, but True. if you tell them not to date, it's, 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 it's a question. I mean, like if you are well traveled and you know, been a researcher, you studied, you've been an undergraduate for in different in institutions before eventually being a graduate, also for different institutions. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, when you were an undergraduate, did you date? Did. Oh, you, you did. I did, but I was, I was working. You I were working. working. So you were not when I was in, you know, my second year. Okay. All right. Now, before we come back to you guys, uh, we, hit, we hit the streets of Lagos and we spoke to people in Lagos State here in Nigeria um, about whether or not men should date um, when they are broke. Now, the question for men was, um, you know, should you date while they're being broke? And for women, would you date a broke man? And here's what Lagosians had to say. I cannot date a broke Why? guy, except if because most of these broke guys, eh, if if they were when they were most of them when they were broke, if they later get money, they will end up um, leaving that particular girl and go for somebody better. So I just can't. When two people are together and you love me, I love you, and you know my future, that this man things can change. You can continue life. Uh, Yes. When there's no car, there's no uh, when there's no car, car you cannot just uh, this is, two of you can join it together when there's hope and you know that this man he has something that in future we think we can change, we can decide. The love is not by car or that is by no love is not by car. Not by you having car, having luxury. When someone loves you, it does not matter to who you be or you can even be a truck pusher, you can even fall in love with a, a rich man or a better person. I can this a broad guy because I believe someday you have. And I don't depend on men. So I'm working, yes, I'm working for myself. A broke man should not date. The reason is that let us assume that you, you are working on the road now and you you notice that a beautiful girl now passes you by and you like the girl, you like to date her. But uh, unfortunately, you don't have enough money with you. Even if you told that girl, if you date the girl, let us assume that you hold the girl and she she accepts you. She would like to know where you stay. She would like to know the kind of work you do. I know, especially Nigerian ladies, you know, they like money now, you know those things. Nigerian ladies can never date a man that doesn't have money. So it is it's advisable for a guy that is broke not to even try to date because at the end of the day, it will backfire. Dating a broke guy is very, very easy in the sense that when there is love, you don't have to focus on the money there. It can start from somewhere, actually. Being broke does not mean he's not having a future ahead of him, so that's it. Right. Now, that's what Lagosians had to say. Um, we're going to discuss what everybody eventually said uh, in that Vox Pop. Somebody said, you know, that they, should, they can actually can date broke guys, uh, probably if, if there is love. I heard a motor saying behind the studio, <laughs> behind the scene, no, no romance without finance. Yes, no. We're going to discuss that when we come back. It's still not a guy thing. Our question is, should broke men be dating? Remember, you can join the conversation, but just remember to use the hashtag, not a guy thing. We'll see you after the break. thing and we're asking the question should broke men be dating if you're just joining us you've missed the first part of the show but you still got two segments to go being guys in the building with us broadcaster of international repute 
Main guy is not broke. Uh, I'm not trying to say the building. That's what I'm the TV God. producer. I have Abdul Latif, who's a researcher. He's giving us all the statistics and figures and numbers of broke men that are no longer dating <laughs> or that used to be dating. Now, before we went on the break, we saw um, you know the Vox Pop where we heard what people said. Some said yes, they can date broke men. Some said, as a matter of fact, the very first lady said no, she cannot date a broke man because um, when eventually they have money, they forget the girls that struggled with them. In the their days in the wilderness. Mm. Omotara, have you ever been with a broke man before? No. You've never been with a broke man? No. Um, because it's very important to mm. have some amount. And being broke is relative. Yeah. You know, we discussed that off, off camera. Being broke is very relative. You should have some amount of money. I mm. mean, you should be able to, if I'm going through issues or problems, I should be able to have a man who is reliable. Is he no ATM? It does not matter. <laughs> you should have some money to at least provide for certain things. Maybe I'm in school, I need money to buy books, or I'm stranded somewhere. I should be able to call on my that's, boyfriend. That's but he's not your dad. No, 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 hold on. Now, he's not my, 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 my father. He's mm. not my boy. He's my... Boyfriend mm -hmm. and he's my potential husband. Mm -hmm. If he's not showing me signs, if he's not showing me signs that there are students that got married at the end of the day, if he's mm -hmm. not showing me signs that he's capable, please, what's he doing in my life? Okay, I, 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 before you come <laughs> on this, I'm like, let me ask you: Does having money necessarily translate to having a better relationship? Not necessarily, mm. because there's a temptation that when you have money, mm. you can get anything. You know, like money can always get you the best of yeah. whatever. But um, the truth of the matter is. It's, um, there's a tendency for ladies to behave well when they are around money people. To behave well? Yeah, okay. you know, when yes. they are around uh, money people. But again, when you, um, when you are broke, for example, the question is what are you doing? Mm. You know, what are you doing to, 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 to change, change, to change your situation? Because being broke is not a permanent thing. True. Yep. And then you could be even married and then get broke. So mm. whoever married you for money, what is she supposed to do when you are broke? She will leave you when there's no money. You know, she'll leave you. I'm not going to take that. <laughs> does money necessarily translate, um, you know, to successful dating? Uh, not necessarily. I, I think the dynamics are different. Mm -hmm. Money is important, but mm -hmm. if the individuals don't have that discipline, because sometimes you might have too much money, and that's when you want to start getting all the numbers for all the girls you want to. You feel you can do anything, like uh, Latif mentioned, but money is good in the sense that it oils. I'm, I'm talking of the ideal situation mm -hmm. where two people are genuinely in love with uh, each and other. All of that. But we should always remember something. There's also beauty in the struggle. Mm -hmm. Being broke is not a permanent state. Yeah. I mean, I was broke before. It wasn't. I, I didn't just start wearing two thousand dollar Italian suits mm -hmm. overnight. There was a time I was wearing yeah, Max Spencer. At next, but uh, to God be the glory. Look at me now. <laughs> look at you now. All right, let me, let me quickly spin this. Now, we're talking about potential. Somebody mentioned potential here. And, um, you know, good thing, almost every one of us, if not all of us, have seen the movie um, Acrimony. Uh, you know, clips of it will, will run on the screen now. Now, in Acrimony, this young man um, had a lot of poten potential, actually. Mm -hmm. He had a lot of potential. He, he had this battery he was building. He knew it was worth millions, right? And the lady was there with him. She supported him. But at some point, now, I'm not going to argue on Acrimony because this has brought up so exactly. much argument on the internet. But, you know, how long is too long when it comes to waiting on a man's potential? I'm going to try with you. Um, so, the beautiful thing about this movie was that it showed her support for her man when mm -hmm. he didn't have anything. Um, it is okay for you to stay with your... I, I mean, this is my opinion. It's mm -hmm. okay to stay with a man when you know he's working hard to make to make everything even to provide for you and all of that but the moment you see he's not hard working or he's relying on you for things and he's not taking responsibility or he's not showing you signs that he wants to change the situation if you know what's best for you mm, work out because you're going to live the rest of your life Saving that man, waiting for that man. <laughs> what, 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 I mean, I, I, or some guys too also rely on sports betting. What, what, <laughs> what, kind of signs, what kind of signs do you think a man should give off, you know, when he's broke, to show that he actually is serious and that, you know, he's not going to remain in this position? You clearly said being broke is, 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 um, is temporary, it's not permanent, you know. What kind of signs do you think a man should give off to show that I can still date you when I'm broke and then things can get better eventually? Okay, well, one. Let's look at what money does anyway. I mean, money is not nonsense. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, so, you know, so you have, you know, when you have, it is said that when you give money to someone, when you mm -hmm. want to test someone's, you know, character, yeah. you give him the money, money, you mm -hmm. give him power, and mm -hmm. all that. Okay, so if 
if he does not have money, how does he comport himself? You know, because you must, as a man, you must carry yourself with, with some level of personal confidence, mm. a yes. sense of self worth. Yeah. Yes. You know, there must be something that is going for you. That's even without having money. Yes, without having money. You know, so that tells any other person that okay, he has a sense of self worth. He, he has a direction. You know, there's something that is going for him. Mm. So nobody just wants to to you know get you know hooked with someone who is broke. Has no ideas, has nothing going. You know, it's just, you know, it's in just one position. One position. It makes no sense. It makes no, I, you know, so I, you have to be seen to be disciplined. Yep. And in fact, you can be broke and still be financially disciplined. Yep. What it means anyway is that you are still able to at least save something mm. or keep something for emergency. Mm. Yep. You know, despite being broke. Flesh and blood did not reveal that to you. <laughs> no, at all. Because you know? I remember <laughs> having a discussion with a friend of mine and we're still talking about this, and he says, that it's not so there's being rich and being wealthy mm -hmm. so you're being rich in terms of knowledge in terms of um ideas okay. your morals the values you have being wealthy is that you have liquid, liquid mm -hmm. cash yeah so, so you yeah. can look at those things and it depends on what is important to you as an individual so if you say for instance this guy has a lot of potential he has his hard work he might not have liquid cash mm. but he's trying to make he, he's trying to be, make something for himself, not even about you mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. Remove yourself because I don't expect a girl who is expecting a guy to give her money not to also work for her own no, money. No, they're very true. You you know? about, yeah, speaking about Thank not working for her own money. Much, <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's shut down this table now. Um, the guys in the technical department before the show were this talking about table, it. That, <laughs> since we have asked about guys, now the women should contribute something to of bring course. guys. Like, what are you bringing to this table that are about to shatter? Should women also date when they are broke? Well, Okay, so you, the dynamics of dating, mm -hmm. the uh. man, hold on. The guys are, the guys, the man, it, typically a man is a provider. So mm. any, any man who's a man would always want to be the one to provide. Where did he, where, where but, he but for herself, as for her own self, mm. um, for her own self pride and for her own dignity, mm -hmm. she should also be able to support him mm -hmm. in, on days he doesn't have, when she knows he's a sensible man. Who should man. pay for the Uber? <laughs> Who is calling me to his house? <laughs> what if she's, what calling him to what house? she's the one calling him to the house. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. If she's nice, she can pay for him now. If she's nice, but yeah. if she's not nice, She'll bo. <laughs> Who wants to go? I'm going to give up on Nigerian guests. I'm going to Pakistan. You know what? What's that? You know what? What does it mean? What does it mean? What does it mean? What does it go on a final break and then when we come back it will be the home stretch of the show it's not a guy thing we're asking the question should broke men be dating and if you're a woman would you rather date a guy or can you date a guy who's broke remember you can still follow the conversation online use the hashtag not a guy thing when we come back we're going to make it personal and ask everyone have you ever dated when you were broke it's still not a guy thing when we come back the show continues back to another guy thing uh, we're talking about broke men dating should broke men even think about dating at all and then if you're a woman would you ever date a broke guy in the studio with me is still benga borrower we have a motara and we have abdul latif ahmed all three guests have been talking about broke men dating or whether they'll date a broke guy now we're taking it personal benga this is a very emotional story for me so okay. do you have some tissue of the second. <laughs> Anytime I relay this story. Bigger, I really no worry. I'll give you I'll, this I'll is a true life story. My okay. ex-girlfriend, my mm. ex, this ex, uh, she left me because uh, and I asked her to her face, if I had a million dollars, would you be making this decision? She couldn't give me an answer. Mm. She left me just because I wasn't earning enough. Yeah, Look at you so, now. I, and that's the biggest lesson I took out of that relationship. Look, 
it was kumbaya at first love but these feelings will fade mm -hmm. i mean do you have to pay bills and feelings and potential don't pay that so i've given myself i've said look if i don't have a certain level of financial discipline and responsibility uh, i will not go into a relationship because it's there's no amount of love that you have that it's it's not a good thing for you yourself. So mm. it's best you respect okay. yourself. All and right. maintain Re rhetorical your question, Wenga, you don't have to answer. Have you got into that position right now? Don't answer me. Don't answer me. <laughs> Just look at me. <laughs> look at my very creepy. Look at my chew. It's okay. <laughs> Jimmy Chu. Jimmy Chu. Jimmy Chu. <laughs> have you ever dated a bro guy? A guy who had potential, who was struggling, and you saw that this potential will lead somewhere? Yes, I have, mm -hmm. actually. And it was one of the best times of my life uh, my own <laughs> <laughs> it was because it was really genuine it was it was the fact that money wasn't really the basis for the relationship mm -hmm. really genuine maybe your eyes are not teared at no, <laughs> <laughs> my eyes are teared can't look at you <laughs> um, but it was really genuine it was really one of the best relationships i had because we got we 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 were able to have fun from Easy things, very mm -hmm. simple things, very yeah. and little um, gestures, simple gestures of love meant a lot to Jeez. me at that time. Oh, okay. You know, and it was very good, but mm. it was also kumbaya because yeah. reality dawned on the fact that he wanted someone who had a lot of money. Oh, he wanted. He wanted that guy. Guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even going to do that. I'm not even in less yeah. than one minute. Um, mm. You know, before you got married, before you got to where you are right now. Um, would you have considered, you know, dating while you were broke, or were you broke? Was there any point where you were broke and you were still dating? Yeah, there was a time I did, you know, date, you know, and I was broke, you know, and being broke now is relative. Mm -hmm. What it means is, considering the lady I was dating at that time, she wasn't, you know, the type you could date without, you know, really being, you know, boxed up. Expensive but, but, taste. You know, yeah, but she wasn't after box, you know, how wealthy I was at that time. She was at the point in life where what she wanted was just me, mm. you mm. know, and um, mm. it was a wonderful relationship, yeah, exactly. you know, because I was recovering from a long drawn, you know, um, depression, mm. you know. And caused by a woman. Yeah, caused by a woman. Of course, yeah. woman. Yeah. 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 we do it. You know, and, you know, you know so she figured a lot of stuff out. And we were able to work a lot of it, so it was great fun. Was great for, mm -hmm. You know, we, we, we really planned and worked well within that. You know, was that the relationship she, that ended she, up in marriage? It, no, no, not really, because uh, what, really stood, see, now, what stood, uh, uh, now what stood us down wasn't because um, of my condition or okay. her condition. Okay. It was just because of things you could not um, mm -hmm. control. Ah, control. Uh, no, 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 I can't say it on air. You know, well, because <laughs> children are watching. We'll get back. Just before we leave the show, we have a letter coming in from South Africa. Hope okay. from South Africa sent us this letter. Let's take a look at it. Okay. All right. Now, Hope says, um, I've been in a, relation, in a relationship with this guy almost uh, a year now. We are moving on well, but I feel fed up. He claims to be a businessman, but he has, he has huge bank loans um, that he's trying to pay off. I have a job, although I do not earn so much. He provides nothing for me financially, and I usually cover expenses when we go out. He asks for money and credit for me and credit from me. Now he has asked me to move in with him. I feel I am gaining nothing from this relationship, and I want to leave and look for a better man. He's he's, he's a good guy um, in all other aspects, but the only problem is that he is not financially stable. What do I do? Should I go on with him? I don't understand. He's a good guy in yeah. all other aspects. Uh, which other? But aspects? which other aspects? Uh, well, quick responses. Uh, we don't know the aspects. Let's should leave this guy. She should leave. Someone that is already managing you are still collecting credit. I mean, she should leave. Let's not leave. think about it. So because she should, whether he has prospects or not. She should not. She should for her peace of mind. Because she if this is a problem, wait, if this is a problem mm. for her, she needs to leave because she, she can't manage it. But, there are some people that are okay with it. But why would she be asking? What has kept her? What has kept her? We have run out of time. We have run out of time. She should flee. She should flee. This is All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for uh, having me. Guys, it's always, the, always a pleasure yeah, having you here. Thank you so yeah. much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank so you. it's not a guy thing. The conversation continues online. It doesn't end here. Um, use the hashtag not a guy thing. Should broke men be dating? And if you're a woman, would you date a broke man? A broke man, I beg your pardon. My name is Bernard Akede. This has been not a guy thing. Cheers. <laughs> Hello everybody, I'm Vimbai Mutiniri. You're watching New Central TV. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking right here.